So in this video, we head southwest to the largest continent in the world, Africa, home of many exotic animals, insects, and indeed, plant life. However, there is one thing that Africa lacks, and that is the knowledge of the numbers of the transgender community. Africa has a history rife with issues ranging from the trauma from the slave traders who targeted many tribes many years ago to full-on civil wars. Most of Africa's belief system is, of course, extremely conservative, more so than the, that of the United States. But, of course, it's conservatism, not as extreme as Russia's. Life imprisonment, selling their bodies, and of course, extreme high rates of self elimination Even though this entire beautiful country, continent, it's like this. Recently, the country of South Africa has taken on the test to be more progressive. However, despite extreme efforts, conservative attitudes cons continue to rebel against any progressive policies, even from law enforcement. Since the African transgender community is extremely oppressed, I found it extremely difficult to find one individual making great strides and changes in her country since most of the transgenders over there still hide in darkness. However, there's one particular woman who stood out in the light. And that one woman is none other than Audrey Waga of Kenya. She was born in the same year I was, 1984, in a family with two brothers and two sisters. She currently holds two degrees, one in biochemical science from Meseno University, and the second degree being that she is receiving a master's in information systems at KCA University. She holds certificates in monitoring and evaluation from the AMERF Health Africa. And she's an Oracle certified individual. I did a little research on that. This means that 97% of Fortune 500 companies use this particular system software. Yes, indeed, us as consumers, we are probably using something Audrey has created or is currently maintaining. YouTube. Windows, Norton Antivirus, your PlayStation console, Amazon, your American Express credit card. Overpowered much, Audrey? It's okay. It's all in good fun. Her journey to get recognition 
was and currently is an arduous one. In July of 2014, the High Court in Kenya ordered the National Council of NGOs to register Mbwaga's group known as Transgender Education and Advocacy. In October that same year, the High Court had ordered the Kenyan National Examinations Council to change her name on her certificates as well as removing the male gender marker on them. In June of 2016, with her now recognized organization, issued a memorandum on the health bill presented to the Senate of Kenya to seek legal, re legal recognition of transgender people. In addition, halting the stigma of such people and allowing transgender reassignment therapy as well as changes to how the procedures performed. In 2014, she was nominated for the Dutch Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Human Rights Tulip Award for her activism. Miss Audrey, you impressed me. And I'm also impressed with the fact that you're also speedrunning this advocacy in your country as well as the entire continent. But with deep concern, can you please at least take a break? Have a good meal. And drink some Gatorade before you head off into that MMA ring of the toxic society. It will take many decades, possibly centuries, even a millennia before the transgender community is properly represented in Africa. As they missed, saw first the majority of their domestic issues, or they can turn their attention to human rights to everyone in their country. The sad reality is it is quite highly possible that the whole entire continent of Africa would be the last to gain full respect and admiration from its own people. That being said, request Katibachi, my love.